time on building the X set, we're tearing down the head. Okay, so what I got for this episode here is basically removal of the camshafts, uh, of the valves, lifters, springs, everything like that to remove the head basically to get it ready for cleaning. So uh, what I'm going to start off with is removal of the camshafts, the caps, and the camshaft itself. I've already removed all the peripherals from the motor, or from the head, and uh, basically I'm going to be organizing them on a tray that I have here so that all the caps and bolts and everything stays in the exact position it came out of the motor in. Uh, that's kind of my first step with everything is I take a lot of time during tear out to make sure everything goes back in the engine or head assembly the way that it came out. According to the factory service manual I have pulled up on my phone here, camshaft removal, um, you know, they list as starting with the intake cam. On the cap here you can see I for intake, E for exhaust cam, so you know which cam is which. Uh, when you remove it from the motor, all the caps also have arrows pointing toward the front of the engine for reinstallation. But basically the removal procedure is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, and then copy that to the exhaust cam side. Once all your bolts have been untorqued, then basically just uh, loosen the bolts from the caps. I leave them in the caps here so they um, stay in their original position. And then we will need to take a mallet and knock the caps loose. Okay, here's the camshafts removed and the caps, uh, basically all in order, the exact orientation that they came out of the engine in, as well as the head bolts and washers, exact same order as well. Next step here is going to be removing the HLA lifters. Basically, how I'm going to be organizing my lifters, uh, my springs, and my valves is in egg cartons here. So we have I1, I2, I3, I4, all the way up to eight. This F laid, uh, notates the front of the engine. So I1 would be intake side, lifter, spring, valve, everything, number one, then number two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So basically the lifters are pretty easy. Just take a magnet, it's the easiest way, and basically place the lifter in here. Now, um, the HLA here, I am going to actually be disassembling this and cleaning this out. Uh, and filling with oil before um, reinstallation, as I have heard that will greatly help in reducing the noise from the hydraulic lifters. So now for replacing the, uh, or removing the uh, keepers, retainers, and springs and valve, uh, basically you wanna take a small C-clamp like this, wrap a towel around one end, because it will be going onto the valve surface underneath. And basically, you'll take this here, you will wrap it around here. Then I use a piece of three quarter inch PVC with a notch cut out on it. You can do this with a socket as well, which is probably a lot safer than the way I'm doing it. Okay, then basically once you have the tool in alignment, you will tighten down. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see in there, let me try to get a little more light on it for you. Just a second, I'm gonna jump the camera. Let me see if I can get my light right there. That'll probably be a little bit better. See, one of the keepers already fell off. So then take a magnet and grab the first keeper. Put it into your slot in your egg carton. And then, it doesn't look like that second keeper quite fell off yet. Let's get a little more tension on it there. And let's take our magnet and get our second keeper off. Now uh, that the keepers are removed, you can slowly and steadily release tension on your C-clamp. until you feel the pressure release. Then remove your tool and you'll see your retainer. And that can be picked up with your magnet and your spring. 
And finally, just a little shove from the top and your valve will slip right out. Sorry, the block of wood underneath is blocking it. And there's your valve. Then the last thing to remove is if you look down in that hole there is your valve seal. And for that, you need uh, valve seal pliers. Clamp on that, pop out, and then uh, all the removal process is done. You basically just have to do that 15 more times. So there are better tools than this uh, C-clamp set I used here. The one issue is all the valve spring compressors that I looked at that I could buy locally uh, were not made for... Uh, it was tough finding ones for an overhead cam, but also it was even more difficult finding one that worked well when you have the lifter inside the, the casing on the on the head here. It's a very tight clearance and a lot of them won't work. So I saw this little trick, uh, I think it was on a Miata forum actually, it was, it was online somewhere, and it works fairly well. I wouldn't put your face by it, I'd wear safety glasses and so forth while you're doing it, um, but uh, so far so good. Intake valves and exhaust valves, lifters springs, retainers, keepers, everything all uh, all organized and ready to be cleaned up. Also, uh, just ending the video here, but a couple other things. I removed these um, set screws from the oil galley passages. There was six of them, two on the front and two on the back, and then two on the intake side of the block as well. So these need to be removed to uh, get access to your oil passages to clean those out. But uh, yeah, other than that, we are done with the head disassembly. Um, basically, got to start cleaning it up now, and then time to uh, also start cleaning all the individual parts uh, and get them ready for reassembly. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you like my videos, please hit like. If you have something to say, let me know down below in the comment section, good or bad. I don't mind. Uh, thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.